Oh, oh baby, it's warm oh, test. Oh, You're okay. It's your girl Tiffany and welcome back to my channel. If you enjoy my Fruits Basket 2019 version reactions, please remember to like the videos, hit that subscribe button, hit the bell icon that's next week because a little bit when a new video has been posted. Also check out the description below because I put links to uh, the Fruit Basket playlist and you can also find links to my other socials so you can drop me some support over there as well. And I need you to leave your comments in the comment section. Guys, by doing everything that I've just listed, this lets you to know that you're enjoying my content. Therefore, they'll push it out more. So, the shout out for this video goes to Patrice Oliveira. Thank you so much for taking the time out to comment on my last video. Much, much appreciated. So last episode we had um, a introduction of how a flashback of how Hannah became friends with Toru and Arisu. So we know for a fact that well I learned that her power is actually a real power. I just assumed that she was a bit clairvoyant, so that's why she did what she did or said what she said, and that she was just more in tune to people's emotions. Not really realizing it's an actual gift. It's the actual power that she has. Which is very interesting to learn. And we learned that it seems like her family. I don't know if her family has similar powers. Or had people in the past that had similar powers. Because they wasn't too surprised. Their main concern was she was getting hurt at school. And that's because she was getting bullied. And she wasn't telling her family she was getting bullied. For the fact that she thought it was punishment for thinking she wanted a child to die who was bullying her and so she felt like it was a sort of punishment and then we saw also the closeness between her and Megumi her brother in instance of him praying for someone to come into her life where she feels special where she feels loved besides her family she he wanted an outside source and that came in the form of Toru and Arisu and they were debating whether should they, they should wear normal clothes. And I'm like, no, you're going to bring Armageddon if you dare come in pink or anything besides black or purple. So stick with what you know. But it was cool to get an insight in both Aus and uh, Arasu's and Saki's um, friendship. Because I don't think in season one, it explored it as much as it did in this season. So it's, it's they were always focused on the summers. But it was good to know how the original gang got together. So, again, I don't know what's going on now. So, all this will be... Sh Either I'm going to remember the episodes as it happens. But in chronological order, I don't know what's coming up next. So, we're going on to episode um, 23. And it's called You Look Well. With that being said, let's jump into this episode. And a Sunday, Lord. You feel all? How you get our do? Demo Toruga Cotton Torunan to Hajimeto, no, 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 why did you panic? 
<笑>いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、いや、
It got add to uncle's already 50 years older than the arm. Than the actual nieces and nephews. And besides, blacks and Asians, anybody older, you call aunt and uncle. だから元気になったら一緒にやってみよう。ちょっとビアホースライブ、ガード。私の元気の源はいつも皆さんが与えてくれるのです。つはありがとうございました。オッケー。花ちゃんも無事合格できたようです。みたい。I I think he's a winter baby. Are you sick? Oh, Yuki. Oh, he really? Okay. Yuki. Uh, okay, that's something new. お前だ。はい。はいじゃねえ。そんな女が刺してる傘なんかに入れるかよ。あ、すみません。やるのメロロだ。that's the longest crosswalk. Uh oh, who's there? Who is you? <laughs><笑> Uh oh. Kaga! How you do, baby girl? Oh, damn! You know she gonna come ramping. Run. Run. <laughs> you know she would never do that. Oh, she I get to open the damn door? <laughs> I can't remember if they said if Kagura is older. Or old, I think. My guess I lend that to you. てよく追い出そうとしてるな。取るけ。この I think all of them do. Uh-oh. Which is not the nicest thing. Girl, it messy. Okay, why are you clearing everybody out? でも。we gotta deal with that person we saw because why he clear everybody out? Stop and go. Do you love Toru? Oh. 
ずっとそうやって隠していくつもりなのうるせえんだよあ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、あ、It doesn't have nothing to do with his beads. Let keep quiet because I can't remember. Did you not bring an umbrella? Uh oh. You know she's gonna squeeze it. Ah! Why am I like going down on the floor? The floor is dirty. Okay, she is older. <laughs> oh, she was way taller than Q and it was smaller. Oh, shit. Who? Who we see? Who we see? Bitches, who is this? Who is you? Good sir. Ma'am. Oh, he back. Good sir. Kyo desk. Daddy. Uncle. Master, who is he? Genki so da na. Kyo. Master. Shisho. Okay, that was a chill episode. That was a very chill episode. I, not much actually happened. It, it, yeah, not much happened. Um. Yeah, not much actually happened in this episode. It was very chill. Very, very chill. We had the, the usual shenanigans that happens when Kagura comes over. We had Toru realizing she needs to take it slow. Um, That she's already basically the perfect human in the Soma's eyes. Well, except for Akito and Pangan, but those that actually love her. She's perfect. She just needs... And she's gonna be fine. One failed test is not gonna destroy your chances of graduating. Even though this is coming from someone who's never failed a test. But th th that's besides the point. As long as you did the makeup, you realize that you have the support. I think sometimes Toru forgets that she has the support of everyone around her. Yes, it's not the typical family support of a mom, a dad siblings but you have a family who loves you who wants the best for you who cares for you and again they're hinting something about Kyo's past which I feel like I know what it is but um I've been around uh, too many times for my pleasure so I'm not gonna say none and we ended it with meeting a new character which I can honestly say I don't know who that person is never met him so, but I feel like that's the master that Kyo has always talked about because he got very happy. And he didn't call him dad or uncle, he called him by his name, I'm guessing. So, I wonder if he's a Soma. Like, you know, he may not be a, um, a Zodiac member, but I wonder if he's like the, what did, um, Mochi call him? The, the outsiders? Is the insiders and outsiders? One of the two, they call it. So, I wonder if he's an outsider. So... I really have nothing to say because nothing really happened. I enjoyed the episode. It was just a, a very slice of life episode. Nothing much happened. So, with that being said, if you enjoyed my reaction, please remember to like the video, hit that subscribe button, leave a comment in the comment section. Guys, a like, a sub, a comment, a share of this video goes a long way in expanding this channel. And I thank you guys so much for your support. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye.